10th concert tuba while standing or marching, as well as to carry the sound of the instrument above the heads of the band. Like the tuba, sound is produced by moving air past the lips, causing them to vibrate or buzz into a large cup mouthpiece. Unlike the tuba, the instrument is bent in a circle to fit around the body of the musician, it ends in a large, flaring bell that is pointed forward, projecting the sound ahead of the player. Because of the ease of carrying in the direction of sound, it is widely employed in marching bands, as well as various other musical genres. Sousaphones were originally made out of brass but in the mid-20th century started to be made from lighter materials like fiberglass, today both types are in wide use. The first sousaphone was built by James Welsh Pepper in 1893 at the request of John Philip Sousa, who was dissatisfied with the helicons in use by the United States Marine Band. Some sources credit C.G. Connecticut with its construction, because of the first sousaphone he built later in 1898. Sousa wanted a tuba like instrument that would send sound upward and over the band, much like a concert tuba. The new instrument had an oversized bell pointing straight up, rather than a directional bell of a normal helicon. The sousaphone was initially developed as a concert instrument rather than for marching. Sousa wanted the new instrument for the professional band which started after leaving the Marines, and this band marched only once. Sousa mainly used sousaphones built by CG Connecticut although less balanced on a player's body than a helicon, because of the large spectacular bell high in the air, the sousaphone retained the tube-like sound by widening the bore and throat of the instrument significantly. Its upright bell led to the instrument being dubbed a rain catcher. Some versions of this design allowed the bell to also rotate forward, projecting the sound to the front of the band. This bell configuration remained the standard for several decades and is the standard today. The instrument proved practical for marching, and by 1908 the United States Marine Band adopted it. Versions with the characteristic extra 90 degrees bend making a forward-facing bell were developed in the early 1900s. Early sousaphones had bells, with bells popular in the 1920s. From the mid-1930s onward, sousaphone bells have been standardized at a diameter of. Some larger sousaphones were produced in limited quantities. The sousaphone is a valved brass instrument with the same tube length and musical range as other tubas. The sousaphone's shape is such that the bell is above the tubist's head and projecting forward. The valves are situated directly in front of the musician slightly above the waist and all of the weight rests on the left shoulder. The bell is normally detachable from the instrument body to facilitate transportation and storage. Except for the instrument's general shape and appearance, the sousaphone is technically similar to a tuba. For simplicity and lightweight, modern sousaphones almost always use three non-compensating piston valves in their construction, in direct contrast to their concert counterparts' large variation in number, type, and orientation. Both the tuba and sousaphone are semi-conical brass instruments. No valved brass instrument can be entirely conical, since the middle section containing the valves must be cylindrical. While the degree of bore conicity does affect the timbre of the instrument, much as in a cornet and trumpet, or a euphonium and a trombone, the bore profile of a sousaphone is similar to that of most tubas. To facilitate making the mouthpiece accessible to players of different height or body shapes, most sousaphones contain a detachable tubing gooseneck which arises from the lead pipe on the upwind side of the valves. One or two slightly angled bits are inserted into the gooseneck, and then the mouthpiece is inserted into the terminal bit. This arrangement may be adjusted in height and yaw angle to place the mouthpiece comfortably at the player's lips. Most sousaphones are manufactured from sheet brass, usually yellow or silver, with silver, lacquer, and gold plating options, much like many brass instruments. However, the sousaphone is also commonly seen manufactured from fiberglass, due to its lower cost, greater durability, and significantly lighter weight. The weight of a sousaphone can be between and. Most modern sousaphones are made in the key of no wiki bb less than slash no wiki and like tubas the instrument's part is written in concert pitch, not transposed by key for a specific instrument. Although sousaphones may have a more restricted range than their concert tuba counterpart, Generally they can all play the same music and usually have parts written in the bass clef and the indicated octave is played. Many older sousaphones were pitched in the key of E, but current production of sousaphones in that key is limited. Although most major instrument manufacturers have been made, and many continue to make, sousaphones, 
Connecticut and King instruments are generally agreed among players to be the standards against which other sousaphones are judged for tone quality and playability. Perhaps the most highly regarded sousaphone ever built is the Connecticut Model 20K, introduced in the mid 1930s and still in production. Some players, especially those who find the 20K too heavy for marching, prefer the slightly smaller King Model 1250, first made in the late 1920s and also still in production as Model 2350. Historically, Holton, York and Martin sousaphones have also been considered fine horns. Unlike with other brass instruments, some players dislike the sousaphones made by non-American manufacturers. Very large bore sousaphones, with oversized bells as large as in diameter, were made by Connecticut and 48K and King, and Giant, 1270 and 1271, in the mid-1920s and 1930s, and by Martin, York, and Boucher but they disappeared from the catalogs during the Depression or at the onset of World War II. Because of their weight and cost, few were made and even fewer survive, especially the four-valve models. In recent years, sousaphones have been available made of fiberglass reinforced plastics instead of brass. The fiberglass versions are used mainly for marching, with brass instruments being used for all other situations. Depending on the model, the fiberglass version does not have as dark and rich a tone as the brass. Regardless, fiberglass sousaphones are lighter than their brass counterparts and work well for smaller players who could not otherwise play the heavy brass instruments in a marching band. Although the tone of fiberglass models tends to be thinner on less warm, it is considered acceptable by the high schools due to the trade-off in durability, cost, and weight. In the 1920s and 1930s, four-valve sousaphones were often used by professional players, especially e-sousaphones. Today, however, Four-valve B sousaphones are uncommon and are prized by collectors, especially those made by Connecticut, King, and Holton. Jupiter Company started production of four-valve EB sousaphones in the late 2000s, and Dynasty USA makes a four-valve BBB sousaphone as well. Criticisms of the fourth valve on a sousaphone center around additional weight, although the fourth valve improves intonation and facilitates playing of the lower register. Due to the large size of most sousaphones, the subcontra register is already covered by alternate resonances, known as false tones. Many beginners are not aware of the false tone resonances on their sousaphones because these notes reside in the subcontra register, which is nearly impossible for most beginners to access. Some professionals develop a raised embouchure to securely play these notes. This is where either the upper or lower lip takes up most of the mouthpiece area. The embouchure provides almost twice the room for vibration of the single lip. Asian sousaphones made in China and India are gaining popularity in the street band market. In Switzerland and southern Germany, Guggenmusik bands often use these instruments that provide great display and passable tone. Most are tuned in e-brands like Spice with older British designs make affordable sousaphones that have broken the 500 euros barrier. These are mostly in the medium bell size of. Chinese brands are mostly reverse-engineered models and quite e-passable. In large marching bands of the United States, the bell is often covered with a tight-fitting cloth, called a sock, which enables the sousaphone section to spell out the school's name, initials, or mascot. The Leland Stanford Junior University Marching Band Tubes have a tradition of painting the front surface of their sousaphone bells with a variety of images. Sousaphone players are also known to perform the flaming tubes in which flash paper is ignited in the bell, thus making it appear as if the musician is breathing fire. David Silverman developed a propane-powered flaming sousaphone with a trigger valve to control an array of flame jets across the top of the bell of his horn. The Yale Precision Marching Band has made a tradition of setting fire to the tops of the bells of their sousaphones, including in the fall of 1992 when sousaphones served as the candles of a wedding cake formed by the band when two band alumni were married during a halftime show. They also utilize what they refer to as the uberphone a sousaphone that was disassembled from its coiled format and welded back together on a 12-foot frame to extend straight up from the player's shoulders. John Philip Sousa was a benefactor of the University of Illinois music program and a friend of the university's director of bands Albert Austin Harding. The Marching Illini became the first band to march in a football halftime show, and were the first band to use sousaphones on the field. The sousaphone sections of some marching bands have developed specialized performance traditions. The University of California Marching Band Bass section traditionally struts during the band's pregame show. During the strut the section separates from the rest of the band, circles the north goalpost, 
and rejoins the band to complete the script California The University of Southern California Trojan Marching Band Sousaphones play John Williams' Imperial March from Star Wars in single file when crossing streets on their way to and from performances on the USC campus. When the Ohio State University Marching Band performs its traditional script Ohio formation, a senior sousaphone player dots the I. The fight in Texas Aggie Band's sousaphone section executed a distinct two-step and four-step countermarch during marching performances. During halftime performances this is accompanied by a huh. Huh. From the crowd. The University of Delaware Fight and Blue Hen Marching Band has several traditions involving sousaphone players. During pregame, they branch off from theorist of the band. From here, the sousaphone players run in a snake around the field jumping to drumline cadence. At most pregames they act out a skit as well. At post-game, In My Life by the Beatles is played featuring a sousaphone solo while the band sings. After every pre-game show at Florida State University when the section run in a circle, with their horns tipped up parallel to the ground, around the seminole head on the field with a head drum major in the center of the circle. This is called flushing the field or flushing the Indian head, derived from the section's nickname Flush. The Marching Virginians of Virginia Tech perform a version of the Hokey Pokey featuring the sousaphone section putting their sousaphones in, taking their sousaphones out, putting their sousaphones in, and shaking them all about, followed by an all sousaphone kick line. The University of Toledo sousaphone line march off the field in a snake line after home games and performs the song Sonic Boom when the rest of the band meets back with them. For the last 20 years the University of Idaho Vandals marching band sousaphone section all wear long skirts that were originally used by the 1948 University Women's Chorus. University of Idaho Vandals sousaphone section The sousaphone is an important fixture of the New Orleans brass band tradition and is still used in groups such as the Dirty Dozen Brass Band by Kirk Joseph. Soul Rebels Brass Band from New Orleans features sousaphone player Edward Lee Jr. Sinaloa, a state of Mexico has a type of music called Banda Sinaloense, and the sousaphone is used there as a tuba. Damon Tuba Gooden Jr. Bryson from The Roots plays the sousaphone on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Nat McIntosh is the sousaphone player and co-founder of Young Blood Brass Band, who play a mixture of traditional New Orleans-style brass band music and hip-hop. The Lemon Bucket Orchestra, a Canadian self-described Balkan klezmer gypsy punk super party band, features a sousaphone as one of their instruments. Red Barat, a Brooklyn-based Dolan brass band that fuses North Indian bongaroo with hip-hop, go-go and jazz music, features John Altieri on sousaphone. Warren G. Harding, the 29th President of the United States, was a sousaphone player who played well enough to join the band celebrating his election. Jeannie Schroeder of the band Devochka plays sousaphone on several of the band's songs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.